Starting with this investigation here, we've learned a potentially life-saving part of Tampa's towing law is not being enforced. It's aimed at keeping drunk drivers off the road. Now, last June, City Council passed a law requiring businesses that serve alcohol to put up signs telling people that they can leave their cars in the parking lots overnight without fear of having those cars towed. But as Fox 13's Evan Lambert found, seven months later, we can't find one single bar or restaurant with that signage. All of these Soho bars have signs that say if you're parked illegally, you could be towed. But what it's also supposed to say is that between the hours of 9 p.m. and noon the next day, towing is illegal. Uh, do you like hoppy? Tampa's biggest nightlife hotspots stay busy, and sometimes people have a little too much to drink. Tampa City Council thought ahead years ago, creating a law that says cars can't be towed between 9 at night and noon the next day. It's meant to give people the option to get home safe without worrying about their cars. Last year, the city found out tow companies were ignoring the law, and in June, council added a new portion to the ordinance. Any business that sells alcohol and offers parking must display a sign letting people know their cars can't be towed overnight. But that hasn't happened. Seven months later, these signs aren't up. Does that concern you? Of course. I, you know, when we last met and talked about this seven months ago, the clear intent was to make sure that businesses put those signs up so that those patrons who were too drunk to drive understood that they could leave the car there and pick it up the next day. We drove all over Soho and Ybor City and didn't see one sign. We also asked several managers at bars like McDinton's, The Lodge, and Soho Saloon. I was just wondering if I could ask a couple questions. Not many businesses wanted to talk on camera, but several said they didn't know about the signage requirement. Jeff Giganti did talk to us. He's a partner in the Chichio Restaurant Group, the owner of the lodge, and a board member of the Soho Business Alliance. He told us the city never made the ordinance clear to businesses. We weren't aware of the sign ordinance you know, until you brought that up with me, but you know that, that's concerning. Giganti said he doesn't have a problem with posting the signs, especially now that he knows not having them is against the law. Giganti and Suarez agree that informing customers of their rights and keeping them safe is their responsibility. It's actually a win-win for everyone, and I just wish that the uh, bars and restaurants would come to the table, so to speak, and be able to put those up there. And at least two city council members say they plan on bringing this issue up at a workshop and working with city leaders to make the law more clear. Reporting in Soho, Evan Lambert, Fox 13 News.